This is as far as I'm going to come driving because this looks like it's starting to get a little rough here. This is along Laurel Creek down, going down to the Gully River. I'm going to go down to the Coons Tunnel. 3,000 foot long rail trail tunnel now. It's not used by the railroad. Nice cascading waterfall down here at Laurel Creek, pretty close to where it comes into the Gauley River. I'm on the rail trail that's just uh, right along the Gauley River here. Right down in there is where that Laurel Creek dumps into the Gauley River. So we're going to walk the rail trail here. It actually looks like vehicles have been on this. Maybe this is a road somehow you could drive. I don't know, but definitely vehicles on here. get to the Kuntz Tunnel first. About a half mile, I believe. I can tell you from where you come down Laurel Creek, where I parked as a quarter mile down the hill, to the railroad grade right here, and then it's not been more than a quarter mile walk, and right here's the tunnel already. It's in this Kuntz Bend, obviously. Big horseshoe bend here, where the Gully River is. I think it's about a half mile. I think someone said 3,000 feet, maybe that's what it is. I'll look up the actual detail and post the footage at the length of this tunnel. But there's no curves in this one, and you're gonna see it while I say that. You could already see the other end. And I could tell you from walking all these tunnels of all the places I've been in the state, that looks deceiving. But the end down there, you could see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's a long way down there yet. There's nothing at the top of the tunnel that says when it was built. Now it looks like it may have been concreted over time. Maybe over top the bricks that it used to be here. So the tunnel begins less than uh, 100 yards from the Gully River there, where it turns. There's definitely been vehicle traffic in here. And there is a distinct echo. You've just seen if the nature of the tunnel changed anyway. So far, it's just smooth concrete sides and a smooth top. This is a tall tunnel. Not like some of the old tunnels they made for the narrow gauge trains. One thing I don't notice, although it's not needed as wide as it is, is those little alcoves that you could duck in to get out of the way of the train. I think those are in the smaller tunnels. All right, so. We're not going to waste too much film here. We'll turn this off till we get close to the other end. Okay, I've made it about halfway through. The nature of the tunnel hasn't changed as far as the nice smooth walls. There's where it came from. I just came out of the tunnel and obviously this is the end of the vehicle traffic here. But this is the opposite end. Oh, and it does have a date on it. 19.0, and it looks like it's an 8, but it's 19-something, unless that's 19.10. Unfortunately, it's broke off there. Uh, I'll dub in if I find some history on it when this tunnel was built. So 19-something, zero. There's a nice walk through there, nice and cool. So we're gonna walk across the pedestrian bridge that they have built here for this rail trail. This is really neat to come over a major river like the Gauley. That is looking up river, the Gauley River. This is called Peters Creek where it dumps into the Gauley. There's a railroad bridge across the top of it there. And it does look like this pedestrian bridge was built on top of the old rail line, because there'd been no reason to build that out there. It's down the river. What a view. But it's worth it to go through this tunnel just for this view here, if you do nothing else.
River stirred up just a little bit. It's not as clear as I've seen it before the gully, but that's because there has been some rains recently. This is a pretty long bridge across here. Hundred and fifty yards, maybe more. There's where we came from, the Kuntz Tunnel. This is the end of the bridge after you come out of the tunnel and cross the pedestrian bridge. See, it is built up on the old railroad bridge here. The iron that you could see goes all the way through there. This is the abutment at this end. People rock climb here. See some of the ropes left. 